Hi, I'm Christoph Salge and I'm here to present the winners of the 2022 Generative Design in Minecraft Settlement Generation Competition. The task of the competition is to make an algorithm that builds a good Minecraft settlement, but for an unseen map and try to be at least as good as a human. So how does it exactly work? You write an algorithm and submit it to us. We take three unseen competition maps and apply your algorithm to them. We then send each of these three maps for each of your entries to our various judges and the judges submit scores back to us. This year, 12 judges submitted a score. We judge um, entries on four criteria. Adaptivity, as in how well does it adapt to the existing map and reflect the properties, both on a large and small scale. Functionality, what kind of affordances does the generated settlement offer, both to a player and a potential villager living in that settlement. Evocative narrative, as in settlements tell stories about the people that live in them and stories about how they came about. And aesthetics. And this is not just about looking beautiful, but also about avoiding all these aesthetic mistakes that humans intuitively not make, but AI still do. So the fifth year result, um, this is the fifth year we're running this, and we had 12 submissions this year and uh, 12 judges returning scores. And these are the winners. So third place goes to Alexis and Yuri from the Tsukuba team. Um, they actually, I think, reused um, some of the material from uh, last year's Tsukuba team, who were the winners of the previous year. And here we see their entry, which has some really neat features like uh, lit paths, uh, lots of different houses that upgrade over time. And also, interestingly, a new feature where certain things in the village fall into decay or become subject to uh, burning, which is then also reflected in their uh, chronicle entry. Uh, the second place goes to La Team Baguette, um, another team, I believe, uh, associated with uh, Tsukuba University. Um, again, uh, there was actually some code reuse from previous years, such as the graveyard and um, the quarry. And we also see like a really nice modular city wall, numerous modular buildings. And um, they actually build several settlements who then have simulated relationships with each other, like going to war or uh, friendly trading, which actually exists on the map. And you can use um, like information in the settlement to visit each other. And now for the winner, this year is Mike's Angel. Angel, a team, I believe, from Leiden University that combines many, many of the um, kind of um, either successful um, properties of previous years or uh, the properties that were sought after. So first of all, it creates a really, really big settlement, but it also has like, you know, this uh, like big cathedrals in it, which are modularly developed. So they aren't always the same templated building. Um, you also have like lots of variety in the housing All the houses are furnished. Um, the furnishing like changes depending on uh, the house and is also automatically generated. So this generator just does a lot of things, right? There's a lot of variety. There's a lot of really cool features. And I really encourage you to check it out on our um, public online server. We also saw again kind of games inside games here, for example, um, kind of a hedge maze that was also procedurally generated and placed inside uh, one of the settlements. Um, we also saw city walls uh, prop up again and again. Actually, both entry, the first and second place entry had uh, modular city walls that kind of contour to the terrain and enclose the city. We had another entry with a more rounded uh, city wall that created a more cozy settlement. So they are a very uh, popular feature, probably because the winner two years ago actually um, introduced city walls to this challenge. We also this year saw um, approaches with uh, machine learning, uh, namely a GAN and a GA approach, which weren't doing too well in the final scoring, but uh, nevertheless um, demonstrate and showcase that it's possible to approach this challenge from a lot of different technical directions. So as I said, there were many successful features such as furnishing, tree removal, pathfinding, lighting, modularity of buildings, agent-based simulation to create background story that uh, didn't um, or were not present in year one or two, but have been introduced over time and uh, turned into like successful staples and algorithms and approaches. And uh, we are very, very happy to see, I mean, a lot of these things were brought together in this year's winning entry and we're very excited to see uh, where people are going to take this in the future. So here's a results overview um, and all the scores. 
um, the actual successful maps of all of these entries, uh, their code, um, the feedback these people received, all of that will be released um, on our website and our wiki uh, within the coming weeks. So um, there's just one more thing to add. We also had, um, again, uh, two entries to our optional chronicle challenge, which is about creating um, a text um, that also fits into the settlement and reflects certain properties from it. Uh, and the winner of the overall challenge also won the chronicle challenge. And the second place here goes to the Tsukuba team, who um, had um, this approach to a chronicle where there was very heavily dependent on the relationship between the various um, settlements, such as being at war with uh, other settlements. And there's lots of neat features associated with it, such as, you know, statues changing their stance or being more warlike when the villagers go to war or have a more warlike stance. So a lot of these kind of environmental storytelling happening there. Uh, so once again, um, if you're interested to learn more, you should check us out on uh, our VR website. You can follow us on Twitter and we have a very active uh, Discord community where people share their results, discuss their approaches and um, we uh, engage with our community and um, people also share code and um, all kinds of nifty ideas, just help each other out. So if you want to get involved in this, uh, you should definitely, um, you know, go to one of these places. We will be running this again in the next year. It's um, very likely. So if you want to kind of, you know, use this as one of your student exercises. So we had a lot of teams this year who were from universities uh, who have done this as part of their coursework. And I think they were very happy with the setup. So there's lots of material available in terms of code to get you started in terms of online tutorials, papers, uh, now numerous like bachelor master theses have been written about this. Some of this work has appeared in PhD. So there's lots of there to work with scientific and push back against the state of the art. So if this is something you're interested in, you should definitely check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And also, as I said, you can get all the maps you've seen here, all the generated settlements, the code and everything associated with it on our website if you want to kind of try out these things yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll uh, see you next year. And uh, that's all from us.